At UNICEF, we're pleased to commemorate the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. The Declaration provides the foundation for shared fundamental values and many international human rights treaties, including the Convention on the Rights of the Child. The Convention is at the core of UNICEF's mandate. When it was adopted in 1989, the Convention enshrined for the very first time in international law the recognition of the full scope of children's civil, political, economic, social, and cultural rights. Since then, the Convention has become the most ratified international human rights treaty and delivered positive changes for children across the world. Yet, nearly 35 years later, children now face multiple crises, including war and conflicts, which threaten to roll back hard-earned progress. In some cases, the very status of children as rights holders is misunderstood, disregarded, or even disputed, which risks undermining the integrity of international standards pertaining to children, including around gender, civil, and political rights. Children belonging to certain groups are at risk of being considered less worthy of protection and excluded from the exercise of their rights, such as minorities, indigenous populations, migrants, girls, and LGBTQI+. We simply cannot allow this to happen. UNICEF pledges to continuing its leadership for a strong child rights agenda at global, regional, and national levels. For us to play this role, we have identified a series of measures to give a boost to our rights-based identity and approaches, both in the way we operate internally and in our external advocacy and programming in over 190 countries and territories. This includes sharpened human rights-based approaches to programming and mobilizing UNICEF's full weight to implement these measures. We look forward to partnering with all of you in this process as we collectively fulfill our responsibility to make child rights an integral component of the protection of human rights for all.